Hello, 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 everyone, and uh, welcome to a special episode of the Choker Bros. I'm joined here by Josh Good. How you doing, Josh? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, or everyone just calls him Josh G. It's usually what they what they say, man. Um, so, Josh, yeah. you just uh, took first in the Asian Grand uh, Championships. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man. Um, so, I have your deck list up here. Uh, do you want to go over a little bit, or do you want to tell me? Actually, yeah, no, sure, sure. let's actually before we do that, let's let's talk about why you're playing Opus Two first off, because I think some people won't understand why, and the we're looking at Opus Two deck that you just won with. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Uh, I went to China for this competition because I actually had a business trip in Shanghai. So uh, two days after the competition, so it's like it's, it's super convenient for me to just fly down to Beijing early, like a few days before to compete and in in china they are only up to opus 2 right now because they just started the distribution not too long ago so they are a bit slow and behind everyone else okay uh yeah so mm-hmm. how how many um how many like how long until opus 3 is out is it's got to be soon right like i know that they're, they're they're trying to catch yeah. up to worlds right like they should be at opus 5 or 6 by worlds yeah, they are actually catching up. And the funny thing is, after the competition, I actually went to the office of the distributors to mm-hmm. talk business, and they ha- actually have all of the Opus 6 cards already. Oh, okay. Like, uh, like they have the details of every single Opus 6 cards. So I was at the office and their computer, like, checking, like, the, trying to check some of the cards and stuff. Oh, uh, nice. Because they, it was the Japan, the Japan's plate. Uh, the Japan office sent them yeah. all the cards to do translations and everything. Okay. So yeah. they're, they're definitely ready. Okay, yes. yeah. So, in Opus 2, right? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I only came in at the very end of Opus 2. We're looking at, like, a really yeah. heavy, heavy model lightning uh, yeah. metagame, right? Yes. All right, so why That's do, right. What, what's good about mm-hmm. this build f- that you thought would be good against model lightning? Well, here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing, right? Basically, uh, I, was, I was actually surprised, too, because I, I actually knew that I thought Mono Lightning was super strong because they have a Dea, Amon, and uh, LC combo, obviously. Yeah. But then we realized that, you know, you can't really uh, 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 destroy anything that's not on the field, you know? So yeah. I created... Uh, so basically, to- this list is actually... Uh, uh, evolution of Toby's list in Opus 2 yeah. and you know he basically coached me through like the entire process and the meta in Opus 2 so he tell me what beats what for example the strongest list is actually not Mono Lightning the strongest list in my opinion and in Toby's opinion and a lot of people's opinion is actually Ice Lightning okay. but the thing is which is which we'll get to that in a bit because there's a funny story behind that. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, ice lightning destroys my deck. It, it would it would completely destroy ice, my ice surf deck. But the problem is, ice lightning would die horribly to go bad in the world of in the words of Toby. Right. So it, yeah. the ice lightning deck is that it, correct me if I'm wrong? Mm-hmm. That's the deck that had it had snow back then, right? Like they were playing snow and yeah. rains. Yeah, they play snow, sit rains, uh, onion night, and they play uh. It's uh, the, very the aggressive, ones. right? Yeah, very aggressive, and they could play. They could also play. Uh, uh, the I I believe the the smarter version of playing it is to actually play uh, uh, Sarah instead of going the because you could also go really crazy and play X Death, right? The six CP one right. that brings out a mannequin. Yeah. So that's also really strong. But uh, the the better version is actually to play Sarah and stuff. And the I actually played against a guy who. Who 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 play Ice Lightning and yeah. he actually went like uh went undefeated all the way till uh 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 the fight the semifinals yeah where he got knocked out by Gomez. Oh wow, so, okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy and this guy has a very interesting build that I could actually think about taking to Opus Six. Yeah. Because uh what he did was he ran a uh, Herdy and mm-hmm. Gurdy and okay. uh and the mob. So what happens is uh, Gurdy would become a, 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 a even stronger uh, selfie, you know? Right. Because you're minus a power by 2k. Right, yeah. So, or 3k, 3k minus power. So, you, you can't block any of his shit. Yeah. So, it's super, it's super powerful. Yeah. yeah. So, wh- why why didn't you play a gold best deck? Did you just think it wasn't strong enough? or? No, because the uh, gold best deck uh, is a bit inconsistent, right? Like, Toby sure, yeah. always said that if you, you, you could always, uh, the thing is, anyone can play gold best. But if you could draw it, you know, right? Uh, that's any idiot <laughs> could draw it. So that's why I didn't. And the 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 deck that I play is the most, in uh, in my opinion, and you know, obviously Toby's opinion is that it's the most well-rounded deck. 
Sure, yeah. And I've done a lot of testing on it and stuff like that. And it, it's super fun to play too. And yeah. there's so many, like, it's my deck is the, in my opinion, is the best deck against good players. Yeah. Yeah, it, skill, it, like, it does seem yeah. very consistent too when I'm looking over the list. Yes, that's right. It's very consistent and it's very, uh, very fancy. Like, there's a lot of tech, a lot of, uh, a yeah. lot of tricks that you can do and stuff like that. that can, I can, I have a lot of ways to actually just steal games out of nowhere. Yeah. So, so you are the first person to qualify for Worlds, is that correct? After Toby, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So Toby, all so Toby auto qualified from his win last year. Yeah, that's year. right. All right. Yes, so you're the right. first. You're the first person this year to qualify that wasn't automatically rewarded awarded that, right? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's how's, right. How how does that feel? Uh, it's great actually, and uh, you know, it, it's a it's just a relief, you know. Like you know, I by the way, I realized something really bad i think i might have sent you uh, the wrong list because we made a, a last minute adjustment and it's actually three seraphy okay i'll send it to you right now give me a minute i'm gonna update it and send it to you right now i can actually open this in, in deck i can update it in deck editor so three seraphy what else did yeah. we cut so uh uh we cut uh two cp the 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 weaker monk you know the the monk that is the front opus one yeah that's two monk, and and then we we do the opus yeah and we cut one of the opus one monk Okay. Yeah, that's it. So, I mean, that's a lot of backups. I actually didn't notice until just now that you have a lot of backups in this deck. Yeah, we, is that we just have a 20, consistency than, thing. Twenty three backups. Yeah, it is a consistency thing, and the thing is, back then there's no good summons, right? All the summons suck. Yeah. So there's, there's no point guess, running them. And, yeah. Uh, so like Hecaton is only killing like uh, Lulu and Kefka, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe sometimes you can catch yeah, them right. out. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing, I forgot to tell you. One Yang. Yeah. We'll change to another Barat. So we have two two Yang, three Seraphie, and two Barat. Okay. So yeah, two CP it. Barat and three three of the back opus two monks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. This deck this, this deck looks super cool. Um and yeah, I was looking yeah. I was looking at it over some of the lists whenever I was building some Ice Earth decks and it what took me yeah. all the way back and I saw Toby Toby used to run a very similar deck, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I actually Toby's version you know, to be honest, after a lot of testing, I realized that my version actually is quite a bit stronger than his version. Yeah. Because like uh, he ran uh, like like the five CP Kuja and stuff yeah. for different things, and I basically cut both of them out for extra uh, Riona and extra Vein. Nice. So it gives me a lot more options and a lot of more like uh, dynamicness to the deck. Yeah. And I, I did a lot of testing. I I beat. I can beat like a lot of decks. For example, we we also didn't have three Jonah Bud, like Toby. Or the original list has two Jonah Bud, but the mm. problem with and the reason why he went up to three, right, is because Jonah Bud is very good against Riona, the special. Because back back in Opus Two, if they play a Riona, there's literally nothing you can do. Yeah, you know, there's no like unless you play an Odin on on the turn or something. That's a good you, point. You know, I, I forgot that there was no yeah. Shiva, like no the, the good Shiva. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I'm yeah. They, know, they, coming they, in right at the end of Opus Two, I just forgot how. Like, I just assume Shiva's always been around, but yeah, that's no, actually a fairly new isn't. card. And Shiva, the the good Shiva actually came out of Opus Three. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, I definitely run it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. first off, congratulations. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, secondly, you have Thank regionals you. coming up. You're back. You're back home in Singapore now, right? Yep. Yep. That's right. Yep. All right, so tell me a little bit about our regionals prep. Um, obviously, without any spoilers, like what's what's that look like for you right now? Are you testing mostly in Octagon? Or are you testing at your locals? Well, I I don't test at locals at all because uh, the players suck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, actually, they, most of them they suck. And it, <laughs> so I, I play against uh, like uh, online. I play against yeah. Toby mostly. I went like I played like. Hang games versus Toby last night, so you know I'm just playing against him and all these kind of things. But I, of course, I need to try to play against more diverse group of people. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, for example, to worry about like uh, not just about the top decks, we have to worry about so-called junk decks, right? That right. can actually like people who play Emperor. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um. So. So. Mm -hmm. so is your is your regional this weekend the same weekend as nationals? No, it's actually next week. I think it's like sixteen, so sixteen, seventeen. If I'm not wrong. Okay, yeah. so you actually get to see what happens at nationals. Before... Yeah, that's right. Okay, so yeah. so that that kind of makes it it kind of makes it awkward, right? So if you and Toby have been mm. brewing this secret deck, 
You know, mm-hmm. like yeah. to- you got you got to give Toby for first chance at it because he's got to play it for nationals, which is way oh, more no, important but, than regionals, right? Yeah, that's true. But Toby is not playing for nationals. He, oh he, yeah, he's already qualified, so, right? Yeah, he's already qualified. And the funny thing is, like, uh, but we might have people that we are friends with that actually play our decks and stuff. Yeah, but that's not happening anymore. <laughs> yeah. Was that ha- was that happening before? Did you get some t- well, tech ruined or? Well, <laughs> well, I don't want to talk about it. But right. uh, let, let's just say we, we, both of us has became like we were a little bit more open. Yeah. No, Toby was super close when it started, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then we got a bit open. Yeah. And then it backfired us on okay. us a little bit, so we learned our lesson. So now it's okay. like yeah, no I, one's getting anything. I, I think I'm piecing it together in my head. What happened? All right. So <laughs> interesting. All right. So uh-huh. Uh-huh. when you play in regionals, your qualification will just get passed down, though, if, if you were to win, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I can choose it. So I can say that I'm taking the Singapore win, and I'll let the China side pass down, which is uh, going to be the plan. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, all right. Because uh, so, so it's like it depends on who gets it depends the, on, who it depends on who, It depends on who you like. Yeah, that's right. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, that's, that's I, don't like I never most, thought about that. Yeah, that's right. And I don't like most of the people here, so I, I would just like I'll, I'll try to smash it. And yeah. then like, and then dream the crush win. them. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll crush them. Crush All their right. souls. So I mm-hmm. think that if I asked you for predictions for the UK nationals, I think that mm-hmm. it would be a joke if you said anything other than Toby for number one, right? Yeah, that's right. But okay. Toby is not playing, so it's good. Oh, so he's not even yeah. playing. I thought he would... Yeah, he's not even playing. Oh, okay. no, so he, is not. he not allowed to play? No, he's allowed to play. He just didn't go and play. Uh, yeah, because uh, he, he's dealing with some cool. issues or... What, okay. Yeah, and he's qualified, so it doesn't matter. He okay. really wanted to play, though, because, okay. uh, yeah, he really wanted to play, but, you know, he's, he's not playing in the end. Okay, yeah. it, it's interesting, because I was wondering why he wasn't making anyone's top eight lists, you know, people were predicting, mm-hmm. but that explains it. Um, what are mm-hmm. your predictions? Let's say you had to choose, let's say let's say top mm-hmm. four. Who are, your mm-hmm. top, who are the top four? Top four? Yeah. Uh, I think, I think, I well, I hope, like, uh, I... I Technically, you know, to be honest, I don't know anyone from Europe, so okay. I'll say like Joshua, Jamie, Ryan. Yeah. You know, okay, so the, the, the obvious choices, actually, yeah. Yeah, I actually know them. You know, yeah. so. Uh, uh, I mean, these are the people that they, are these are the people that are testing every day online anyway. So you expect them to do well yeah, too, and, right? Like they're putting in the yeah, work, and, and they, of course, and they and they actually like. Uh, I mean, jo- not not Joshua, but the, the I I I mean, I test with uh, Jamie and, and Ryan all yeah. the time and stuff like that. So. Right, yeah, I've played yeah. a fair number of games against them too, and I know that they test quite a bit on Octagon. Um, are yeah, you? They are you? Play, they play a lot. And that's where you got your big break yeah. too, was Octagon, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love playing Octagon. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm at least thirty percent better online than I am live, though. Still, it's, it's funny you say I'm that. I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm actually at least ninety percent mm-hmm. worse on Octagon. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's How terrible. It's yeah, terrible. Right. It actually, so the problem is, is so I've been testing a lot of decks, mostly like the Rainbow Mill variants, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And af- mm-hmm. afterwards, like uh, mm-hmm. my my teammates and my, my local team would say, well, how'd the testing go? What do you think about the deck? And I was like, it's good, I won, or it's, it's bad, I lost. But no matter what mm-hmm. I'll say, but the problem is I keep making mistakes, right? And so now yeah. I'm afraid to take that deck to a big event because I don't know uh-huh. if I'll make those same mistakes in person. And ah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like... The Rainbow Mill deck is very complicated. It's, it uh, is, I yeah. Tested it very well yeah but you see in person with the deck i i think i've only lost one game and it was to the mirror match uh, against yeah that's right yeah so Uh the deck is insane um yeah but online like i just constantly bumble so i'm about i i win about 75 percent of the games online but that's still that's that's not enough to consider it like a good deck you know like i need to be winning i think 90 90 percent plus for me to even consider a deck for a big event Mm -hmm. and i think yeah i think that's something too that people don't talk about like so, mm-hmm. let's say let's say you let's say you take a deck right and you grind it against Toby's mm-hmm. deck and you, you're constantly losing. Obviously, you can't just dis- you can't dismiss that deck because it's very inbred yeah. testing. What? Yeah. How how many games do you need to win against the field for you to consider a deck for an event? Like, what would you say? Well, okay. So the deck that I actually prepared for uh, my my Singapore Open is actually like a 100 percent win rate <laughs> and uh, and uh, like 80 percent win rate. So Toby. okay, so mm-hmm. so you would like a hundred percent win rate when deciding on a deck. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> all right, that's fair. Yeah. Um, so would we all. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, right. And 
and like the games I like, I I don't even lose like the games where you know it's just a nightmare draw. You know, yeah, I have gotten like or like if if I get Grand Cross or some shit like that, yeah, and yeah. I, I I I I don't even lose those games. Like that's how I have to see it. Yeah, for so- me to consider. So mm-hmm. I've been playing this ice water deck, right? That uh, is becoming mm-hmm. more and more popular, especially over in Japan. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'm doing very well on it. The, it's mm-hmm. funny you say it because the, the games where I feel like I'm just getting crushed, I somehow mm-hmm. still win. Like the deck's just very good. Yeah. It's like, I'm, there's That's a point in the bottom. game. Yeah, I'm like turn four. I'm like, oh, I'm not winning this game. And then turn eight, I'm like, yeah. there's no way I lose. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. You know, that that's super important. That's how I like uh my decks in general like when i make decks right i consider uh how like uh, what i call like i i like decks that can actually like street fight you you know like slug right. with you when we trade forwards and stuff like that i can yeah. i can still come out on top i yeah. like decks like that yeah you know what i mean even like mono ice list they could they could actually still fight like even though yeah. mono ice is supposed to be like kind of a delicate deck you know Right. See, I, yeah, I like a lot of decks where you're trade. You're not just trade resources too, but you have a lot of combat tricks where you can outplay your opponents. Mm-hmm. I know it's like in China they're using, or not China, yep. but in Japan they're using Mateus a lot, whereas like the one drop. But here over in the U.S. and in the U.K., I'm not seeing it in the ice mm-hmm. decks. So it's interesting. Well, go ahead. I think actually Toby Toby is one of the guys that really like put an end to that shit. Yeah. Because uh, hello, can you hear me? Because yeah. uh, because for us, right? Like I have never not seen the Matthias coming like for the longest time like every time someone attacks i would know whether they have a Matthias or not sure yeah because it's quite easy to tell right right and but- the thing is you can you can always either choose to take it or you outplay it for example if they if they if they play a, a genesis and then they hit you and then you block and then they they, they play Matthias, right you play a you play a doom train and they die you discard a card and the and the Matthias is gone you know stuff like that yeah, you see, and, and and that's the thing too. Like, you also get to dis- mm. you get to decide, right? So if they have their mm-hmm, one yeah. CP open and they attack, and it's like an obvious trick. Mm. Sometimes you're like, mm. you know what though? Like, even though like they're trading up here, like I need that card mm. out of their hand for later. And so yeah. you you get to make that decision. Yeah. That's a good point. Although I, I still call, I, yeah. yeah, I still think the card is fairly good. But I do think like, for example, if you play like three of them, that's crazy. Like it's all, like yeah. maybe play like one. Yeah, actually gives you a lot of things I, because you let's say you're really late in the game and they see none in your break mm-hmm. zone, they can just assume mm-hmm. you're not playing it. Or the opposite mm-hmm. can happen where where you discard one early and then mm-hmm. they're just playing around it the rest of the game. Yeah, that's right. And no, the thing is, I'm the the thing me and Toby talked about at the beginning of the opus. But right now we realize it's not worth the sacrifice of the power of the deck is to always put one Matthias in the deck just to just so that people think just to mind game people. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But okay. then eventually we realize it's not worth it because we rather have one more Doom Train, which can actually end the game, you know? That's true, yeah. And that, that card is ridiculous, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. It's super yeah. broken. Yeah, so how, how about... how about So Opus 6 is coming out here soon. Um, mm-hmm. you, we don't have to worry about it for a couple uh, more weeks or a month, right? It's about a month from now, I think. Uh, sorry, what what do you hear? Opus o- 6? Opus 6 is I a month away, you. right? Yeah, around that, I think. I'm very excited for Opus 6, obviously. Yeah, so... What do you, are there cards that you're very specifically interested in about it, or? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's coming out in Opus Six. I don't actually look at spoilers as much. Uh, but I'm very excited for Maria. Actually, the two CP Maria. It looks insane. Oh, I like that card too a lot, quite a bit. Yeah, it will be it will be really really crazy in that to do my decks actually. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and I, lot, I think yeah. a lot of people were like saying like, well, the four drop Maria is just too good, but like, I don't think you can no. afford the four drop Maria in those decks. No, we, like you're, in the Luma decks, you don't run four drop Maria. Right, so ever. right, if you're running the Dada Luma deck, you're either on the Riku special where you're trying to like mill them at the end of the game, or you're just focused yep. on killing all their things. In which case, you mm-hmm. also don't have time for Maria. You're not trying to trade your bigger, bi- create these big guys with Maria. You're just trying to ping your no, Dada no. Luma a bunch and kill them quickly. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, you. Uh, a really good Dada Luma deck, right? Need to be able to ramp up their backup up really, really quickly. Otherwise, yeah. they, that's the only way they can lose. If, because if you, if the only way a Dada Luma deck loses, right, is if they, if you manage to pressure them hard enough early game. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and you have to be really skilled too. Really skilled too. Really good to right. to be able to do it right. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's been my favorite deck in testing is the Dada Luma decks. Um, mm-hmm. I thought. Uh, Matiski's list. Did you see the one that's like three colors with ice? Yeah, that one's a yeah, little that's wild. Right, that's right. 
Yeah, that was a little wild. Yeah. But there are some things I like about it. Um, like, I really like to... I like Sid Wolf being able to get things back at any point. Like, that's... Mm-hmm. That's frightening. He does a rush Sid Wolf, by the way. I have a no, fight with him about no, it. No, I know. I know. Yeah. I saw. I saw. Yeah. But yeah. that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, there's... Because uh-huh. I talked about that with um, mm-hmm. Zach, too. Like, like Hello? I'm talking about can just... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm yeah. talking about, no, just yeah, in that, that general three-color shell. Like, um, mm-hmm. like with, like... Like, he's not running Layak, right? Yep. But, like, Layak could actually just be insane in that deck. Yeah, he could. But there's also no space. Like... I, I actually help help Chris with the list quite yeah. a bit. Like, uh, no, he he mentioned that you had helped him quite a bit. Yeah, but you yeah. you were an advocate for Sid Wolf then, mm-hmm. and he just didn't want to so, play it. Yeah, I'm a huge I'm a huge Sid Wolf advocate. Actually, if I run that deck, I'm running 21 backups with one more Sid Wolf. Yeah. So that's what I'll do if I'm running that deck. And actually, uh, I actually talked to Chris. I actually started the shit with about the deck because uh, I wanted a deck with uh with uh with. Hera Dadaluma, because okay. my girlfriend asked for it. So okay. I went to Chris. I was like, hey, let, let's, let's try to make this happen. <laughs> and we, and we want Stasio, and we want Sammy Lafina, and let's yeah. see how we can do it, you know? Yeah. So, well, it worked yeah. out for him. Um, yeah, that's right. It's really nice. Mm. Right, yeah. Which I, I like that deck quite a bit. I really like the Umeros. They're like, yep. like, like ha- yeah, that guy is so good, man. Yeah, that's right. It, it works with the rest of the deck, but the one problem with that deck, the one weakness, right, is if you start killing the Cactors. The, they are pretty right. fucked, right? Yeah, you know. But other than that, is stronger, right? In, I, I, in other ways, I think uh, you know. Speaking of that, a card that's like really underplayed right now is the the mm-hmm. Cy- the Cycon Enforcers. Yeah, I, I don't underplay that. that card. If I could, yeah, it's it's broken. That card is broken. Yeah, it's, 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 it's instant it's nuts, win, right? If you almost use it, I don't want to like. I don't want to be one of those guys that like you know that like that like say that like makes like bold statements like that. Yeah. But if you think about it, right, it's a three CP seven K on curve, right? Yeah. So basically, if you think about it, it's a blank card. It's done, right? And then what happens is kill a two CP. Uh, you know what I mean? It, it kills a it kills a two CP card, which which means that's four CP value you're gaining off playing one card. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and all, not only that, but like sometimes you just play it when they're mm. expecting to untap with their layak. And then, so they just, yep. there's like, well, I have the leg, I'm pretty safe, and then you just attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. To- Toby won a game against me once because of that, actually. Oh, really? So I was like... I'm, I'm trying to see. So, <laughs> yeah, right. Toby mm-hmm. actually just recently took third in a regional, right? Mm-hmm. Here we go. In the Water Earth. Yeah, he's, no place. he's playing yeah. two. He's playing two Enforcers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, like... Yeah, he played two Enforcers, and he had Gladiators. I was, was going to say, it's like he actually has four Enforcers, plus he's got Miners to get it back. Um, yeah. So he has ways to kill a lot of a lot of Cactars. This deck is, like, ready to play against Cactar. It's super cool. Yeah, and, and this deck is actually made to counter me. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a counter Josh deck, because it, it, this deck beats, beats Mono Ice. Yeah. And it beats like uh, the other decks that I have. <laughs> so, so you're not um, you're not going into uh, UK nationals, obviously. Toby's not going to UK nationals. No. What do no. you expect to win UK nationals? Uh, well, it's either one of the three, right? In the end, it's uh, you, the the top three is going to be uh, mono water, mono, mono ice. ice, and I, I'm doing I'm doing in the in order, by the way, and Dadaluma. Uh, and Dadaluma, yeah. That's yeah. it. I mean, everyone knows that. So I mean, like, I, normally I would just like try to like keep it down, yeah. you know, not tell the tech and shit. But everyone knows this. this, I, I, this, I, yeah. this top Absolutely. Yeah. But even then, there's some offsprings, right? So you could have like the 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 Jamie list of of Dataluma, where you're very much focused on just killing the guys. You can have the Rainbow Mill list, right? Yeah, or Jamie list. Well, <laughs> he, he's a, he, <laughs> okay. he's yeah, the first okay. one I saw took first. Um, yeah. With it. Okay. And then you could also like water, right? Like. You either have uh-huh. monsters or you have like the Fasoya. I was surprised to see Fasoya doing so well again. Like cause that's my favorite card, so I was pretty excited yeah. to see that. But like, yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I you, and tell- lately I've been seeing the Fasoya decks are winning the mirror match against the monster uh, decks. Yeah, it's funny because uh, the the thing about uh, uh, Mono Water against monsters is that the monsters in Mono Water are bigger. You yeah. know, one of the one of the decks that we first tested. That I thought was really strong is the three color uh, Kurosawa deck, right? Oh, I, that, so that's up- that's one of my favorite decks of all time. So we updated that deck for Opus Six with yeah. uh, Cam and all that nonsense. Oh yeah, okay? yeah, it's, it's and, broken in that deck, right? Yeah, it's super broken. Yeah, you bo- you do Cam and then you do all the experts bullshit. Like I yeah. cut out all the like fan print and stuff like that, right? But we we took the 
like Alexand three Alexander experts, and then you you play one Zodiac, and you have eighteen experts in the deck. You know, yeah, or like, like twenty. Like you, you know. already have the Moogles, right? But you can play the Poopos yep. and shave a lot more dark cards. You could play, yep. yeah. There, there's so many other things you could play. Like you, uh, Porm is yep. a great addition to the deck. Also an yep. expert. Yep, exactly. So it's like you you just decimate them. But the thing is, as soon as they play Mono Water Monsters, you're done. Oh yeah, because uh, the what the all their forwards just going to be bigger than yours by one CP, and there's no way for you to you know yeah it really like, it, shit, shit the monsters. Yeah. It, invali- it, invali- it invalidates your um your kobolds quite a bit. Like your kobolds yeah. are just like well they're like well I'll block with my realm or I'll block with my green dragon. They have no issue mm-hmm. blocking. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So other than that, it's like it's it's just ridiculous. So it's, so that's why mono waters is is really strong right now. Yeah, man, and plus. Of course, you know you have that stupid turtle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so you're you're putting it at mono water, um, mm-hmm. mono ice, and then mm-hmm. a data luma deck. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I think that's I think that that's a a pretty fair, um, you know, prediction of what's going to win. The only difference is I also think that. It could be whatever uh, Joshua Freeman Birch brings too. Like so, yeah, right. Yeah. So if he know, brings, if he brings fire ice, well, that could very well be you know what we're gonna see in the top four. You know what? I'll tell you something. Right, fire ice is actually tier like it's not uh, this tree are S tier. Okay, so fire ice is the is the is the deck that's one step below I below S tier. For sure, uh, yeah. fire ice can is the deck that can actually beat mono ice, and it's the deck that can actually beat all three. Of the top S tier decks, that's why, you know, I yeah. have I have like a eighty percent win rate on the uh, Ice Earth versus Dadaluma deck with yeah. my version of Ice, I Fire Ice, sorry. So it's really good, but the thing is like, it can lose to a lot of like random junk and shit. And I have a like Toby and I have one secret deck. I guess I'm happy to see Alua, for example, right? Alua? Yeah, yeah, like it, it does uh, not want to play against Alua. Yeah, yeah, I guess and. Like uh, the the deck that me and Toby has like ready, but in, in secret we are not showing anyone. We might even keep it to open six. Destroys fire ice. There's like no way fire ice could beat that deck. You know, yeah. like so. There's a lot of this like kind of stuff going on. So you can never tell like what's the best deck, so called. You know, right. So so you're not even gonna yeah. consider playing that for your regionals. No, the the secret that me and Toby. No, no, no. It doesn't because that deck loses the monsters. Yeah. So so it's like. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's you really don't want crazy. to encourage any more monster players. Well, yeah, that's true. That deck only loses to monsters. Uh, if like any forward uh, playing deck would just get destroyed. Like yeah. it's not even a challenge; just completely just destroyed. Yep. So we have to yep. like figure out how to do it. Mm-hmm. All right, is there anything you want to say before we close out? I know you usually got some shout outs. Uh yeah, well I want to shout out uh to uh to China first of all for the for the for the. For the grand championships, they the the team that did a really good job, and the prize support is the best I've ever seen. Yeah, you when you win when you win the tournament, you actually get six boxes oh, and wow. a figure and a foil, uh, and and a foil of every single opus two card. So yeah, so I but did you take mm-hmm. those back with you, or did you sell them so you didn't no, have to I, put them on a plane? I no, I didn't sell them. I gave them all away. I gave oh, nice. all my boxes away. Nice. Yeah, I only I, I took the I took the figure and I took every Shantoto in the box. I took some points too and uh, yeah so I want to thank them I want to thank my girlfriend for supporting me and of course I uh, for supporting me every way like uh, you know helping yeah. me with a lot of things and I, of course I want to say thank Toby of course. who you know <laughs> did you know everything like uh, you know tested the meta and all this kind of stuff and uh, I, I, I want to thank uh, Christmas Disky uh, Vince Scanion and yeah. uh, and and uh, Colin, so uh, because uh, the three of them actually helped me test my Opus Two decks a lot yeah. before the tournament and stuff like that during the during the two days when I actually in Beijing. Yeah. And, and and no doubt, you know, uh, if you're listening to this and Josh forgot your name, I mean, that's it's really hard to yeah. do when you're on when you're on the you know under pressure. Like I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people yeah. who'd like to think too. So what? I, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, man. Hey, yeah. Josh. Well, thanks for joining mm-hmm. me, man. I super appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure chatting yeah, with you, man. Yeah, man. Thanks. All right, man. We'll see you later. Mm-hmm. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.